we introduced an optimization algorithm for the design of floating object. The design results are 3D printed and uh, verified in a water tank. We also explored the design problem of plywood planar pieces. Planar pieces design is suitable for large object which is inefficient to be fabricated using typical 3D printer. This is the size comparison between a 3D printed model and a planar pieces model. User provides the mesh of a freeform solid object and defines the desired sitting height and the floating orientation. The optimization starts to run waterline analysis. In this stage, fluid displacement, center of buoyancy, and the stability threshold are determined. Before optimization, the gravitational force Fg is larger than the buoyancy force Fd, and they are not aligned in the same vertical line. Therefore, the bunny rotates and sinks. The center of gravity is also above a stability threshold, M. As a result, the bunny is not resistant to external disturbance. To make the problem tractable, the interior of the bunny is voxelized. The mass of the bunny is redistributed by the hollowing out some voxels. A minimal wall thickness is guaranteed to make the bunny watertight and is able to be fabricated. After optimization, the gravitational force Fg and the buoyancy force Fd cancel out each other. The center of mass Cg is now below the stability threshold M, thus the result bunny can stably float in desired way. We present some results for 3D printing. User places a wheel model in fluid. After the optimization, part of the interior of the wheel is hollowed away to satisfy all design constraints. The wheel can float in desired way and is stable under touching and pushing. This seahorse demonstrates a totally submerged design. This hippo demonstrates the design with pre-existing void in its body. This is the design result of our gorilla. This is the cross-sectional view of the design of an octopus. We explored the idea of gluing laser-cut plywood planar pieces in watertight manner to create large floating objects. Similar to 3D printing, user provides object mesh and defines floating poles. The given object is sliced and the interior is hollowed by our algorithm. This is the design of a toad. The density of plywood is low to enable the design of complex shape and interesting floating poles. Loading object interior is a good way to enlarge feasible design space without any compromise of the appearance. To make use of commercial parts, we embed metal bolts inside of this toad. Additional constraints are used to avoid space conflict between bolts during optimization. Embedded metal bolts could be seen from this photo. We fill high-density material like cement inside of this dragon to make it float stably. We create a pocket inside of this dragon. Cement is poured in in the pocket to balance the dragon. The mass of the pocket wall is not negligible for the buoyancy design. Thus, it interferences the shape of the cement. We use an iterative method to find the correct shape for pocket. This is the pocket of the dragon with cement filled. Thank you for watching.